old gin. Any holidays planned? Yeah, um, I wanted to stay local this year. All the plane crashes and hijacks would have you scared stiff. But Stephen said he wanted sunshine, so I cancelled the Glen Eagle and we're going to Lanzarote for two weeks. Ah, you're dead right. Why bother with waiting really carry when you can be off sunning yourself? Yeah, I suppose. And it will be the last holiday, just the two of us. Oh, but himself on holidays is like a big child. He will stay under the umbrella all day until it cools down. I don't even know why he wants to go there. I'd be much happier below Killarney. Sure, that's men for you. I'm going to Vegas with Tommy for two weeks. Mama's going to look after you even while we're away. More pictures of your perfect Tommy. If any of them pop up on my Facebook, I swear I will block you. That wouldn't be a bad thing to do. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, that would be a bad thing to do, seeing as we're all friends. Right, come on girls, let's all get in here for a selfie. <laughs> That's a shite picture. And where you have a face like a bull, smile for fuck's sake. <laughs> there, that's a better picture. Well, I look good in it. Right, I uploaded it to Facebook. And I've tagged you all. You and your Facebook. Would you ever get a life? Says you're one over. How's the husband? He's keeping fine. well, is he? He's fine. Hmm. And why wouldn't he be? Oh, you know, just with you being so busy all the time. It must be hard to keep tabs on him. Look, we've ten likes already. Oh, anybody interesting? No, nobody worth mentioning. Wait, someone's leaving a comment. Oh my God. What is what? it? Susan's sister, Neave, left a comment. She said, can't wait to call to Mary's house tonight and surprise the girls. Haven't seen any of them in 15 years. Should be a night that no one will ever forget. What? How the hell did she see our photo? That's my fault. I accepted her friend request. I felt sorry for her. I didn't think she'd want to meet us or come here. Why would you do that? Look, maybe she's just trying to make a connection with us. She's hardly going to come here on a night like this anyway. And you know what? So what if she's adding us as friends on Facebook? Just ignore the requests. No way, she doesn't even know where I live. But why is she contacting us now after all this time? I Jesus, Jenny, who cares? Seriously, like. Jesus, that's Neve. I knew she'd come here. Who <laughs> is it? chance to survive, unlike other victims with car crashes, fires, drowning. God, <laughs> would you look at me getting all morbid? This is supposed to be our special mm -hmm. night. And you, Jenny, expecting your first child in three months. And um, how did you know I was expecting in three months? Sure, I saw on Facebook, of course. Oh, okay. So, Neva, what are you doing with yourself? Are you working or are you in college? I'm in college, uh, but I'm still living at home. Yeah, the last 15 years have been really rough for my parents. It's taken a lot out of them. 
My dad actually had a stroke a few years back and um, my mom had to give up work with that. And yeah, I was really surprised that y'all lost contact with us so soon after the funeral. Well, it was a very hard time for us as well, Neil. <coughs> we didn't know what to say to your parents to make them feel any better. Ah, oh, yeah. That's understandable. Must have been really tough on all of as well. So, Neil, what are you studying in college? I'm studying psychology. It's amazing what you can learn about people, how their mind works, people's behavioural patterns. Well, fair play sounds like a tough course. Oh, I love it. I've always been fascinated with people's state of mind and their actions. I mean, especially after what happened to Susan. Like, what was she thinking to go swimming when she was drunk? And what must have been going through her mind when she was gasping for her last breath? But I reckon she wasn't as drunk as people said she was. How would, how would you know that? Well, if she was that drunk, how come she managed to leave the house and go to the swimming without any of you hearing her? Well, we were all after an awful lot to drink too, Neve. We were all well out of it when Susan left my house and went down to the harbour. Yeah, even so, I mean, you must have woke up pretty soon after, considering you found her body floating at 4am. Well, yes, I woke. And when I realised Susan wasn't there, I woke the girls. And we went looking for her straight away. That's when we found her, floating in the water. God, that must have been so tough on all of them. It was. We, we called the guards and the ambulance as soon as we found her, but, but it was too late. Jesus. Fair play, G. To be drunk and still having your wits about you to call the guards. God, she was so lucky to have friends like ye. Well, we all loved her. She was our Susan. Well, I'm here now, and I love to be friends with G. And good friends at that. I mean, that is what Susan would have wanted. Her closest friends in my life. <laughs> ye could be like... My big sisters. Sure, you know what we would be today. Will we have another drink and toast it? Great. I'm starting to feel part of this group already. Cheers. <laughs> Any one for more wine? Yes, please, Mary. Top rug. <laughs> God, better drink it slow, though. Wouldn't want it going to my head. People can do daft things when they're drunk. I suppose they can. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> I have a habit of going on too much. Do you know what we should do for the crack? We should play a game of truth or dare. Come on, it'll be fun. God, no. I haven't played that game since my school days. Oh, don't be a wet blanket, girl. It'll be a good bonding session for us. And look, we'll play it actually sit on the floor. It'll be more fun that way. But uh, don't worry, Jenny. You can stay there on the couch. I'll make you and your baby nice and comfortable there now. Yeah, thanks. Okay there? Yes. You're not sick after that. Ah, don't worry, you'll be grand. I'm sure if I do get sick, don't I have you to look after me? <coughs> okay, Mary, your turn. Truth or dare? <sighs> Truth. Have you ever done anything to cause somebody harm? God, no, of course not. Are you sure? Yes, why would you even ask me that? Jesus, just a game, Mary, relax with you. Okay, it's your turn to ask me, Mary. <coughs> Anne Marie. Truth or dare? Truth. When was your first kiss? My first kiss was a Tommy at a pioneer disco back in 1992. 
We danced to a brain out in the sun. That was so nice of you to tell you. Bitch, Mary. You know it was my husband Tommy with her first kiss. <laughs> Why not you ask for that? It's just a bit of hardness fun, Holly. Holly, it's your turn. <clears throat> Truth or dare? Go for a dare. <laughs> I dare you to call a Chinese restaurant and order a pizza. <laughs> Ah, no reception, sorry. Oh. <laughs> you can use the house phone. <laughs> Hi, is this Tung Sing? Hi, yes, I'd like to order a 12 inch Hawaiian pizza with no cheese or ham in it. And can I get a side of garlic bread? Yes, I know it's a Chinese restaurant. So, did you get my order? Can you make the crust nice and crispy? Hello? Oh, <laughs> they hung up. <laughs> oh. Okay, Jenny, now it's your turn. Truth or dare? No, I am not comfortable playing this game. Oh, come on, Jenny. It's just harmless fun. All right. Truth. Uh, have you ever done something bad? Yes. Tell us more, Jenny. I'd rather not. It was a long time ago. Okay. Well, it's my turn again anyway. Go on, Barry. Ask me. I think that's enough of this game to... Right. I mean, just when things were getting interesting around here, who knows what other secrets people might have. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, She knows! She knows! It's okay. Deep breath. It's okay. Why are you freaking out, Jenny? Are you hiding something? That's enough, Niamh. Jenny suffers with her nerves from time to time. Not surprised. That's what happens when you've been carrying a seeker around you for all these years, isn't it, Jenny? You're, You're crazy. Am I? Really? I know you all played a game of truth the day night and Susan died. How could you possibly know that? I know a lot more than you think. <laughs> Do you know what? You are full of shit! And I want you to leave this house right now! Did you know my sister kept a diary? There's some pretty interesting things written in there about her so-called friends. And especially about you, Mary. So-called friends. We were her friends, we loved her, and we miss her every single day. Oh, please, stop. You were complete bitches to her, and especially Mary. You were all following Mary around like puppets and licking her home because you knew what a bitch and a bully she was. And Susan was always the butt of Mary's jokes. That is not true. Sure it's not, Chris? Chris? Here. Read it. I, I don't want it. There could be personal stuff in there. Come here, I read it. No problem. Dear Diary, we went clothes shopping today. I hated it. The girls persuaded me to buy the swimsuit. When I tried it on and showed the others, Mary laughed. <laughs> she said I looked like Porky the Pig in it. Then the others laughed. I fought hard to hold back the tears. On the way home in the car, we stopped at Burgerland. Mary said that I'd probably buy out the whole chipper. <laughs> and if I was still hungry, I could eat the scraps off the floor. I really hate her. I wish she was dead. By the end of the day, all the girls were calling me Porky as well. This was nothing. We were just messing around, having a laugh. Is that so? There's more in here, you know. Here, Jenny. Read it. No. <laughs> I said, read it! <coughs> Dear diary, we had a sleepover at Holly's tonight. We started talking about.
with boys and they were all talking about their first kiss. When it came to me, I said that I hadn't met the right person yet and the first kiss should be special. They all laughed at me and mocked me. Mary said that I was ugly and that nobody would ever dream of going to the depths with me. Oh, leave her alone. Can't you see you're upsetting her? I'll read it. I hate them so much, I don't know what to do. If I don't hang with them anymore, Mary will be out for my blood. And she will spread lies and rumours around the whole school about me. And if I keep hanging with them, they will continue to mock me, bully me, and keep putting me down. God, I wish I was dead. All right, all right, at times we weren't that nice to her, okay? But we are all so sorry. And especially after what happened. We regret it for the rest of our lives. Well, the last entry is the most interesting one anyway. Dear Diary, we're going down to Mary's house tonight. She lives down by the harbour. Mary's parents are away for the weekend. There's going to be a massive party tonight with loads of drink and there will be guys there as well. The girls want to play that stupid game of truth or dare. Half them to say I'm not feeling well and can't go. But I'd be scared what'd be said about me if I didn't go. I suppose this is our last big party. After the Debs, I'll be going to college up the country, getting away from these girls, and especially Mary, and starting a new life for myself. Stop, stop, please stop. I can't take much more of this. What happened the night my sister died, Jenny? What did you do to her? What happened to her? <laughs> it wasn't our fault, OK? It was an accident. Shut up, Jenny. I have nightmares. I can still see her in my dreams, gasping for her last breath of air. I've been carrying this around for 15 years. We all carried it, Jenny, but we promised we would never speak about what happened that night. No, it looks like the promise has been broken. We were all at Mary's house drinking. We were all having a good time. We decided to go drinking down by the harbour. That was where the game of truth or dare happened. When it came to Susan's turn, someone dared her to jump off the pier. Not someone, Jenny. We all know who dared her. I only dared her. I didn't think she'd be stupid enough to do it. And Jenny, actually, wasn't it you were supposed to be keeping your eye on her that night? I, mean, I was totally out of it as well, Mary. It's all a blur to me. Like, one minute we were done with the pier, the next minute we were all dancing, I, I can't even remember if Jenny was with us or not. She wasn't. How the hell would you know? You were too busy snogging the face off your tummy to know what was going on. None of you were there. You weren't there, Anne-Marie. You weren't there, Holly. You weren't there, Mary. None of you were. I know, because it was me that found her. We're so sorry, Niamh. We didn't mean for it to happen. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Neil. We didn't mean for it to happen. God, you make me sick! If it wasn't for me pulling you aside that night and sorting out your story before the guards arrived, you would be sitting here drinking Diet Coke and worried about your perfect holiday. We promised we'd take that to the graves, and I saved your life that night. Well, no, this is how you repay me? Not one of us were happy lying to the guards that night. You were too busy caught up with your perfect tummy to know what was going on. <clears throat> that night changed us, Neil. If we've learned anything from what's happened to Susan, it's that, it's that we need to be positive and, and live happy lives. That's what Susan would have wanted. Happy lives. Let's have a look at your happy lives. And Ree's a bitter and raging alcoholic. Jenny's a nervous wreck. Holly, you're so far in denial because you've lost touch with reality. And Mary, you're still the same bitch in a bully you were 15 years ago. Now one of you were willing to take responsibility for the fact that you sat back and let my sister drown that night. Well now, 
year that to take responsibility. What do you mean? Are you going to go to the guards? What? So you can spin them another tale about how you had nothing to do with it? <laughs> I don't think so. I have something else in mind. Like what? Simple. <laughs> All I have to do now is click this button and it's uploaded to Facebook. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, I've actually been recording this entire conversation and now it's uploaded to Facebook. You bitch! Take that down right now! I'll report this to Facebook. I get it taken down. <laughs> report me all you want. By the time it gets taken down, everyone will have seen me for who you really are. And I'll keep reposting it, and so will all my friends. You ruined me and my family's life over the last 15 years, and now it's time for me to ruin your lives. <laughs> oh God, this can't be happening. We are so sorry what has happened to Susan. And, and your dad getting the stroke, and your mom having to look after him. But... <sighs> yeah, my dad's actually fine. He's working away and in good health. I just said that to uh, mess with your heads and uh, make you feel guilty. <laughs> wow, look at all the Facebook comments. Die bitches, burn in hell. They should be in jail. By the time this dies down, you wish ye for a day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now it is ironic that my sister died 15 years ago. By the time this dies down, your lives won't be worth living. Now, this has been great crack girls. But, uh, I think I'll be off. We should definitely do this again sometime though. Let's say uh, another <laughs> 15 years.